Hello everyone, my name is Antonio and today we're going to talk briefly about Olympians and how they're improving their athletic performance by using the latest technology available these days. If you have a piece of wearable technology like a smartwatch or a wristband, you're probably a little familiar with some of the features they have. They can provide you with health and wellness indicators such as calories burned, heart rate and training loads, which is always useful if you want to improve your overall fitness levels. For someone like me, for example, who does sports for fun and leisure, having a piece of tech that can help me increase a few kilograms on a deadlift or running a 10K a few minutes faster is a pretty cool nice to have gadget. But for the Olympians, having this technology available that can help them shave off milliseconds of their fastest 100 meter race or lift one more kilogram in the snatch, it can be the difference between earning a medal or going back home empty handed. Which is why in order to give themselves the best chance possible to be at the podium, these athletes are now turning into advanced analytics and even artificial intelligence. The pace at which technology is being applied to sports is massively accelerating and it is estimated that by 2028, the size of the technology market in the wearables will be close to $100 billion, which can mean more opportunity and interest for better products, that can increase the chances of a fellow compatriot of yours waving the flag at the podium. In Tokyo, athletes of diverse sports from swimming to soccer to gymnastics will have intelligent clothing that will have to be equipped with small sensors that track real-time data such as stroke, speed, acceleration, heart rate, and they'll be capable to track 2,000 data points per second. All of this data will be shared eventually with the coaches and the athletes to improve the training programs in the future for the respective countries. These are just examples of technology being utilized to optimize performance. And there's others, such as augmented reality environments that simulate the terrain that cyclists will face during the Olympics, like elevation, wind speed, drag, or force resistors that are put in the shoes, such as the ones that Elliot Klipchoge used when he beat the two-hour marathon during a Nike event earlier last year. We've come a long way in the intersection of sports science and technology. It is definitely a super exciting time to be alive and you know keep tabs on all these super athletes and how they use technology to improve their fitness levels. Hopefully you like this video, and thank you. See you next time. Ciao.